Hi guys, you're welcome to Web Technologies. We are still on Laravel 5.4 for beginners. We'll be looking at resolution and repositories. Let's go to the post controller right there in our text editor using bracket IO, the app, HTTP controllers, but the, the post controller. Uh, you may get to a point whereby if you notice in this particular controller we referenced the post class over here you also reference the posts and the post class over here you know you may get to a point whereby you would like to take some of these queries and extract them to a dedicated class we we'll refer to this class as repositories you know just have it in mind that a repository is a container and collection of things so we'll create our own repository of a class connected to the collection of posts so let's create the first repository this is right here in the app so we're actually going to create a new folder right inside the app and we'll call it uh, repositories And right inside this repositories folder, I'm going to create a new file called posts.php. That's fine. So we have the posts.php. Let's get to uh, develop the structure. You know, have PHP anchor tag. PHP just like any other file so we have the namespace which is app repositories we're gonna have a class called posts This class we might have functions or methods like this. Or this. Find search. So we can actually construct different no capability so in the real life scenario you're going to be returning more complicated uh, values you know but less stick to this simple one for the sake of the tutorial it's fine save that right there and uh, you actually need to import the use Save it. So let's give it some colon. Let's make this method static. That's fine. And let's take away the public the find method. Let's maintain this. Make it simple. Now I'm going to actually uh, test this out in the terminals. We're running PHP Artisan Tinker. Tinker. So I write there the shell script. So let me call this. Create a variable called post. It should be equals to the instantiation of the app repositories. Now I use the variable post or let's say the object to call the all method. Ok, 
can you get to see that we have uh, the posts right there in the database the new Laravel post and the authentication basic just like what we have there authentication basic and the new Laravel post so that shows all posts in the database uh, we took the eloquent query and extract it to another class and give it a readable name that's just what we've done over there by taking the query you know we extract it to another class and uh, we actually extract it to the class called post and uh, we make it readable with the different name so let's go back to the post controller and uh, we get to do something here so in the index method we're actually going to this index method. Let me comment on this particular line, and uh, I'm actually going to pass in the value that we actually used in the PHP Addison ticker. So let's go over the post, of course, new slash app. Repositories, posts. I will call it all method, just like what we did earlier. So save that. Let's try it out. We should maintain the same. Can you see that? The Laravel post authentication basics. So we maintain the same uh, post content. So that's good. So we actually going to uh, do something quickly back to the post controller. Let me take away this line and replace with DD an instance of posts. Let's create an object over here in the class called post, which is objects. So save art. Let's get to look at what we get. Post does not exist. Oh, we need to use the backup. So we actually use the app post, but we didn't use the repositories. Let's use app. Stash stories. Posts. This way. Save. Let's get a refresh. Can you see we have the instance of post right there showed? So that's fine. You can see app repositories pointing at the post. So we just have to uh, call and fetch all other posts, you know, using the post, which will be more the file this way. Let's get to look at it. Back to text editor. Now let's modify this post because we now have an instance of post. The posts equals to posts. So we just call the all method without any worries save that go back and let's refresh can you see we get to have all the posts right there in the database this is what I mean uh, when I say automatic resolution or automatic injection so let's move back to the post PHP right there in the repositories Over there, and uh, we actually introduce a constructor. Let's introduce that at the top level the method. Constructs and um, passing the Redis class. Objects 
Redis. This time we'll do something of this nature. Bring this down. This class pointing at Redis equals to Redis variable. That's fine, we need to use the Redis class app and collapse this. So from here we have to create the Redis. Let's get to create this new file called redis.php so we are actually going to pass in uh, something in here quickly first of all we have the php anchor tag namespace should actually confirm with this app. Let's, let's give it class Redis. Save that. Come over to the post. Save that. That's fine. So let's go back to the post controller. just create an instance let's see what returns and you see we have the post instance and also we have the redis uh, instance so that's fine so all you have to do uh, right there is to ask anything you want from the Laravel service container and you get that passed to the different methods, you know, just ask, create a post, you know, object, and uh, point it directly, you know, using the eloquent query builder, and as well uh, using the resolution and repositories, you know, to actually undo different method calls, you know, when your application gets uh, large. May decide to uh, break down some of the codes into different classes, you know. So from you doing that, you need some dedicated repositories to actually uh, carry out those tasks, and uh, you make sure you have an instance of the class you created, and you point them appropriately to the uh, calling uh, objects. So thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the, this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and don't go anywhere. We still have another top notch video when it comes to Laravel development. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.